Well, this is well, this is going to be a, a different kind of a podcast. It's not so much real estate, although we will be talking real estate too, but more about the revenge of the little man. Now, anybody that's an Ozbuzz subscriber, and that's ozbuzz.ca, well, you now know that um, <clears throat> we are have a column that we call the ROTLM people, which are the little people, where you want to take revenge, but you just can't. It is a big corporation. You're being screwed over, and what are you going to do as a little man? Well, there is a group that's called itself the R-O-T-L-M, the Revenge of Little Men. It comes from the German, the Rache des Kleinen Mannes, where you take a revenge. So, so, well, so what is it? Well, in the last four years, I've been literally a Don Creek soldier attacking the windmills, you know, with a no hope of success, but you fight the battle anyhow. My style hate self-service machine. Not that they're there, but that they force me to use them and then grab me by the arm like an old dodo bird when I have $200 worth of groceries that I want. I don't. I don't want them just put into the machine. I want them packed too, because that's the other thing. The self-service machines actually increase everything, delete jobs, and I could go on and on. But the other thing that really annoys me that uh, they don't want to pack your bags anymore. So they just throw your grocery down the aisle, put a bag on top, and then stare you down for do it yourself. So what is the little revenge I have? Well, I live right beside Safeway. It's convenient. The parking is good. But they make me feel bad. The, 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 the checkout counter is not a self-service, but you know everything is sort of get the hell out of here. So I go to IGA, which is like a 15 minute drive and they actually are friendly and they pack your bag and the bags have a handle. So that's my revenge for that. The big one is I hate paying 250 for a bag and then being told I should bring my own bag. Why? Since when do men run around with bags just because it's more convenient? Everything I buy is packed in plastic, everything, whether it's sausages or whether it's whatever, it's all plastic. But the bags, you have to buy at $2.50. And now some of the stores will no longer sell your paper bag for 25 cents. It's ridiculous. So I fight against those things. So we had some odds buzzers fighting against Nike's hiring, Colin Caps, Caps, Kaepernick, and stop buying Nike shoes, you know, and it was about 20 of them that had really... They just made sure they never wore another pair of Nike shoes. You know? So this is what you call the revenge of the little man. And a lot of them also were against the diversity, equity, inclusion. And the funny thing is, you know, you, you don't you don't seem to have any wins anymore, you know. And then came Bud Light. And Bud Light, man, they really took it on the chin from the little man, you know. They, they were told sort of the fraternity brother kind of a low-class people that drank Bud Light. Well, they took a revenge and, and Bud, Budweiser lost billions. And so the big one came, of course. And then, of course, now the DEI, Amazon closed their departments, Microsoft closed their departments. People are just looking. It is not a matter of diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's who's the best for the job. You know, let's face it. Anyways, I don't want to go into ESG because the shareholders are now revolting. I want performance on my stock. I don't really care what your what your governance is. So, but the big one, the big, big victory, the little man revenge really showed in the American election. My God, the warriors uh, took on the, the biggest revenge uh, ever. Uh, a huge battle. I mean, they gave Donald Trump a resounding, unprecedented mandate. I mean, it was just mind-boggling. He won totally, including the Senate and likely the popular vote and likely the the the, the House. Uh, first Republican to do so since 2004. Why? Well, interesting. Against all polls which knows the polls are all horseshit. I argued about that against in every election. They were totally wrong. They don't work, but that's for another time. But what did Trump say? He was going to get the economy working again for regular working and middle class people. He was going to stop crime. He stopped the wild immigration. He stopped wars. And all those regular voters exerted their revenge of the little man and gave the finger to all those that called women too stupid to vote for Trump or that were daily insulted, called communists and fascists, 
They showed they were not garbage, just regular people that work every day and try to make a living in an increasingly impossible, worsening circumstances where they they cannot re register their own kids, where their kids are told woke shit in schools, where you make a, a safe living for yourself, you're some sort of a strange person. If you go to church, you are a right-wing fascist, you know, it, family is dead, you know, so... I'm not allowed to bemoan the price of eggs. In fact, on CNN, I was watching them laughing at people. That's not important how expensive eggs are. Well, they are important if you've got families to feed and not live on the, the, the costs and, and the prices of university professor salary that are guaranteed forever. Anyways, the thing is, they went and the popular vote also went for Trump. I mean, that has to be the all kind historical battle ever fought. They tried to kill him for crying out loud. They tried to kill him in court for crying out loud. For years in 2021, his own party wanted him not to run. Talk about a stand through and the average voter and the average person that likes to take a revenge on the establishment said, you know what, I am gonna bring this guy in. And he came in and actually, he proved what a democracy is. He was accused by under his rule that there will be no democracy. It's ridiculous. And what did the left do? They expressed surprise, but they blamed the ineducated voters. Hey, more than half of Americans voted for Trump. It was a clear cut, total, utter dis dislike for the establishment. They said, we, the little men and women, we tell you about democracy and we kick your ass. Good on you, America. Good on you, America. What does the Trump win mean for us in Canada? Watch the next video.